Hey, how's it going guys? So we are here at Walter E. Washington Convention Center. This is where the auto show is. Now, I'm only here really for like two cars and you guys know what that is probably. And one of them is the electric Silverado, which I did not see in the list of cars. I'm hoping they have it. I mean, why would they not? I know I saw the lightning, but I only have like hour and a half before I gotta pick up my kit. So let's go find out. Alright, we are going with Red Bull today because it is getting late guys. <laughs> what is going on guys? Hope you had a fantastic week. Um, yeah, it's like 12 o'clock at night right now. So it's going to be a long night for me, but let's get to it. First, I got to say thank you to all the subscribers of this channel. I just started this channel. I could not imagine like so many support. So if you're subscribed, thank you so much. It really motivates me to make more videos. Now, I did say I was going to make a video about my dealership fee experience and what they're gonna charge me which they did email me a couple of times we've been talking back and forth so I will make that video but first I had to go see this vehicle guys because um, there was an auto show down the street and I couldn't miss that opportunity because I purchased something very expensive that I never even seen or touched before so it was really cool to like look at the truck really up close and look under the truck and like talk to the employee there so I found out a whole bunch of things that I did not know about so I'm gonna share that with you in this video oh yeah and the Silverado it was not there guys I thought it was a huge miss out for Chevy because even the Hyundai had like three electric cars and some of them were not in the market yet and Chevy you know they already took pre-orders so I could have swore they were gonna have it at this auto show but no nope. when I talked to the Chevy employee he said they're gonna actually feature it in Chicago auto show nothing against Chicago I am not going to Chicago in February <laughs> shout out to all my Canadian viewers because man you guys are troopers and the reason I wanted to see the Silverado is because I feel like the Silverado is one of those trucks like you have to actually see it in person to decide whether you like it or not because I feel like it looks like a mermaid but not in a good way so top part looks like a car and the bottom part looks like a truck so I haven't really decided I like it or not not that I'm gonna buy a Silverado it's more like a backup plan to a backup plan but I just wanted to see it in person to decide whether I like it because I feel like F-150 probably is the best looking electric truck because Rivian kind of looks like a raccoon to me and like Cybertruck yeah it just looks like a Cybertruck so man I have to tell you F-150 Lightning in person it looks so good guys I mean like I know it kind of looks like an F-150 and I love F-150s but I had a small concern about the Lightning I felt like the front light bar it just looked too big in the pictures and videos so in person actually it was perfect size to scale of the truck like it didn't feel like overwhelmingly gawky and another concern I had with this truck was the clearance of the truck looked really low on some of the pictures if you see it from like side profile on some of these pictures yeah it looked like it had like a little underbelly like where the differential will go and the actual f-150 gas truck maybe it's like the battery pack sticking out but my concern was that I love driving my truck to like the beach we usually bring like a whole entire outdoor couch with like firewoods and cook s'mores and we have a good time with that and you need a pretty good clearance to be able to drive in sand and from the picture it looked like it was just not high enough but in person though it looked fine so it had plenty of clearance and in fact it looked like it had a pretty good front squat so the model I was looking at here was the Lariat with the max tow package it almost looked like a V8 squat you know how V8 kind of squats more towards the front than like a 2.7 liter so it kind of looked like that and I'm not sure if I want to put like a leveling kit on the electric trucks when you're trying to squeeze every single mileage out of that battery so we'll see how much a front squat my truck has without the max tow package so that's something to keep an eye on and speaking of aerodynamics I did notice that it actually had a grill shutter at the lower grill right because the actual main grill it's not even a grill like it's like a frying pan but it's cool to see like they really pay attention to this truck and that's kind of like the theme of this whole entire truck there's just so many detail 
details that you could really respect and appreciate. For example, if you look under the truck, the whole entire truck, guys, is filled with skid plates. And this is something I appreciate a lot because last truck was 2017 Lariat, the sport package, and the skid plate on that thing was a joke. Like the front skid plate was like same size as his laptop. Like I had to actually go out and like purchase the FX4 skid plate to cover everything. So it's really cool to see some robust protection underneath. Not that I'm gonna go like off-roading on some rocks. I mean like on the freeway. There's a whole bunch of like flying things all the time. Car parts, tires, you know, squirrels, who knows. And while I was like looking underneath, I was looking for rust. Um, so my last three F-150 had major rust issue. Nothing to like actually break down the truck. It's more cosmetic, but when you buy a brand new truck, rust is not something you want to see like day one, you know what I mean? And always started on that differential area and just like slowly spread throughout the year. So obviously electric truck does not have a real differential casing, so there's nothing to rust there. But as an F-150, I would say this is the least rustiest F-150 I've seen. And I've seen rusted F-150s at like auto shows in the past. Another thing they did to like cover up some things is the fact that they actually have a rear wheel well on this truck. Now this is a Lariat and the Ford employee told me that possibly XLT is not going to have a real well. But currently if you get like one of the highest trim F-150 right now, the whole entire backside is basically commando because you could see like the naked bed bare metal on the back. I mean like granted it is aluminum so when you get like rock chips up there it's not going to like completely rust out. It's just an eyesore and like in all the other trucks they have wheel wells in the back. So I'm glad that F-150 finally took a step to have that covered. So speaking of like covering up hole so i was looking at the front next to the front strut to see there was not a giant gaping hole you see i have a problem with squirrels and squirrels love f-150s because it's so easy for them to just hop onto the tire and just crawl into that hole and get to that nice cozy engine bay area and just like tear up some stuff you know what i mean yeah you could tell like i'm really passionate about this topic um so apparently most of the wire on f-150 is made out of soy and they love chewing on that stuff and i don't know if any of you guys are in a similar situation uh, I, I probably very few of you because I actually don't have a garage so I'm gonna put my f-150 like outside outdoors which is gonna be very interesting it'll make some good videos in the future but I wanted to see if I was gonna be a victim of vicious squirrel who's just gonna chew things up and it's, turns out like f-150 lightning yeah it does have a little bit of hole there but there's no engine bay behind this I don't see it like a good potential pathway for squirrels to like crawl up there and start tearing stuff up. So that's good news. And another good news is the fact that the show truck was the same exact color that I ordered. And that is, I keep wanting to say caramelized gray. It's, it's not caramelized gray, it's carbonized gray. Now I've seen carbonized gray on other F-150s that are gas power, but I really wanted to see it on the Lightning. And it is gorgeous guys, I made the right decision. I'm gonna have to think that I made the right decision because I can't change it now. My second choice would have been like Atlas Blue and I heard that that was one of the most order color yeah also my last three trucks had the exact same color or similar colors i want to go with something that's a little bit different and carbonized gray is kind of cool because it really soaks up like the color around the truck uh you guys saw it like the whole entire booth was like lit blue that truck is actually not blue it's it's gray but gray tends to let me show you so if i turn this light off that's a gray background but if i turn the light on Gray is such a neutral color that it just soaks up all the color around it. Yeah, it's like a chameleon. So it was nice to see that color in the showroom because if you Google carbonized gray F-150 Lightning, yeah, there's only like few pictures out there and they're covered in mud, so I can't even tell what color it is. And I'm gonna have to accept the color of that order because I don't want to like change it, especially now. I don't want to put any more delay to the truck that's possibly arriving. Well, it's interesting because online when I was actually seeing it, it said 24 weeks which will put me to like July. But when I talked to the Ford employee who's actually from Michigan, he said, yeah, if you're like wave one or wave two, you're probably expecting like late April to May. Again, take this with like grain of salt because I heard all kinds of data and estimates. He seems to think like late April is a strong possibility. And I basically was like, hmm, I gotta start saving then because uh, yeah, crypto is not doing too well right now. So, you know, I'm not paying for the whole entire car with crypto. But when I told him that story, he did give me a $750 coupon. Well, he said he was gonna send it to me. Um, so I did fill out a little form on his little tablet thing 
everything. So I'm guessing by the time the auto show ends, he's gonna send me a $750 coupon apparently. If you guys ever go to an auto show, that's something that you could potentially ask. Again, take that with like grain of salt because I don't know if that's standard procedure, but at least like you know that coupon does exist. So clearly I had way too much fun editing this video, so I will get to talk about the email exchange I had with my dealership in my next video. I really appreciate you guys watching until the end. Until next time guys, cheers. <laughs>